Hello again, everyone, from Spartan Stadium in Lima. We are set. Division 7 football state semifinal. A good matchup we've got for you as undefeated Marion Local will tangle with 12 and 2 Patrick Henry. With Miles Holiday, I'm Randy Roberts, partner. It feels like playoff football out there. A little chilly, a little windy. Here we go, right to go to Canton and play for a state championship next week. Yeah, and where else would you rather be than right here, right now? Hi stakes football right in front of us two fantastic football teams are going to battle it out here tonight the two teams that have seemed to find each other at this level of the playoffs this is going to be the sixth meeting all time between these two and we'll talk a little bit about that at uh, later in our pregame but partner let's talk a little bit about patrick henry coming in at 12 and 2 under veteran head coach bill inselman this is a team has some playoff experience in the uh, state semifinals for the eighth time in school history own a state championship in two 2005 under Inselman, and boy, they are just finding ways to win here late in the season. Yeah, I always call him the Don Shula of Northwest Ohio because he can beat you many ways, right? Power run game one year, spread formation the next year, and this year might have been his best coaching job ever when they lost their quarterback, Nash Meyer, in week five, tried to play a little bit in week six. And what do you do when you, your quarterback that is uh, fantastic comes out, right? You can't, don't have him anymore? Season's over for most teams, isn't mm -hmm. it? Oh, not with Patrick Henry and Bill Inselman. You just move Lincoln Krieger, their unbelievable receiver, put him at quarterback, and the train just keeps on going down the track. Yeah, all Krieger did was tie a school record five touchdown passes in their win the last round against McComb. But we got to talk about that matchup with the Panthers. Patch, uh, Patrick Henry led by two scores in the fourth quarter. McComb came back, a chance to perhaps tie or take the lead. Had kind of a weird play. Had a, a penalty on an extra point led to a miss, and that's the reason why the Patriots are here in the state semifinal. But not just one penalty. Had an unsportsmanlike and then a false start. So the next thing you know, your extra point to tie the game is a mile away, and Patrick Henry was very happy to see that. This Patrick Henry offense very balanced, 191 yards per game running and 175 passing, and it's their defense that's really been the key the second half of the year. He's given up just over 200 yards a game, 112 running, 113 passing, and it really starts with a sophomore defensive end. This kid looks like he's going to be one of the greatest defensive players in Northwest Ohio by the time he's done in Grant Smith. Yeah, it's one of those stats you look at. He's got 45 tackles, but 23 sacks, right? I'm like, is that Mark Gastineau out there? Is that Lawrence Taylor? That is one of those that you, you, you say, that can't be right, but it is. 23 sacks, and on top of that, 11 tackles for loss. So he's going to have to uh, have another big tackle for loss and sack game tonight if they're going to beat Marion Local. They have some help as well. Really good linebacker, Houston Miranda. 1,600 yards rushing. He's got 76 tackles as well. But it's the secondary for Patrick Henry that's going to be tested tonight yeah, against Marion Local. It's a secondary that has picked off nine passes throughout the year. They have held uh, five opponents of one score or less. And Ben George, their defensive coordinator, does a great job. It's a secondary that will mix in all types of coverages, try to make uh, Tim Goodwin's team at Marion Local tough to figure out what they're doing in the secondary. Well, let's talk about Tim Goodwin and the Flyers of Marion Local. All they've done, partner, is win 46 <laughs> straight football games. I know, right? I make the joke all the time. Why do they even play the regular season? Just put them in the semifinals every year because it seems like that's where Marion Local uh, winds up all the time. What a job. 13 state titles. It's just kind of an embarrassment of riches over there. They do such a great job. And uh, defense first there at Marion Local. He said Patrick Henry is fantastic with five times they've kept opponents to one touchdown or less. Listen to this. Marion Local, 11 times this year they've held their opponents to one touchdown or less. Yeah, Marion Local in the uh, state semifinals for the 21st time. You heard Miles mention it. 13 state championships and three state runner-ups. Before we get any further into pregame, we're going to step aside here as the combined bands of player national anthem. Randy and Miles back with you here after our national anthem. We're talking uh, about Marion Local. Yeah, you, Miles, you're talking about their defense. Give me some of the numbers of this Flyer team. They are giving up 60 and a half running yards a game, 98 passing. And yeah, that's impressive stuff. And they put that on top of 15 interceptions and 40 sacks. This is a, a stout defense. A lot of work for Patrick Henry. And Houston Miranda, their great running back. It, how are they going to challenge that Marion Local defense? Bill Inselman's going to have to have a really good plan because uh, Marion Local can play defense with the best of them. 
Take a look at this uh, offense from Marion Local, running for 197 and a half yards a game, throwing for 154. A lot of different weapons, so there's not maybe one person who has standout numbers like when you see Houston Miranda, Thomas Smith for Patrick Henry, but they are very effective on offense with the football. Hey, they are because their offensive line, they are fantastic. A week ago, you and I saw Liberty Center, and their offensive line is fantastic. Very local, as good as that. All right, let's get to our keys to the game for this one tonight, partner. And let's start with the Patriots of Patrick Henry. Yeah, number one, Mr. Smith goes to the end zone. That is a wide receiver Thomas Smith, six foot three. Randy, he is a big-time player. Eight touchdowns out of his 39 uh, receptions. He's going to have to get vertical tonight for them to win. Number two, recognize the overload. At practice yesterday, or Tuesday, uh, Bill Inselman kept stressing this over and over again. And Mary Loco likes to motion into a heavy formation. They want to recognize that, make sure they not got, don't get outnumbered at the point of attack. And then number three, don't let the clock strike midnight, right? It's been a Cinderella story, right? Mm -hmm. So keep that Cinderella story going. Don't let the clock get there. Believe that you can win believe you can compete with Marion Local. That would be some keys tonight for Marion Local. If there's been one problem for Marion Local this year, Randy, number one, it's getting off to a fast start. A lot of times games are really tight to halftime, and then that's when they finally get in the third gear. Well, let's look at number two is stay in front. Number, no, stay in front means you want to make sure those receivers for Patrick Henry don't get vertical. Let them catch hitches, slants. Don't let them get behind you because that's where Patrick Henry can do some major damage. And then number three, Houston, we have a problem. Oh, they sure do. If they like Houston Miranda, the running back for Patrick Henry, run wild. He's capable. 1,645 yards, 25 TDs, 6.8 yards per carry, and he's got breakaway speed. So Houston is a problem if Marion Local lets him run. So it looks like Marion Local is going to get the football first. By the way, they've outscored their playoff opponents 208 to 7. That's just in right. four and, playoff games. And Sonia had the seven last week, and it was a tight uh, ball game. And from what I understand, our friends uh, Danny Holbrook and uh, Mark Shine had that game. They said Ansonia controlled the game in the first half, just couldn't convert into red zone. So Patch Kennedy will do the kicking as we get this one underway. Patch Kennedy's worked a little bit on that kicking game, came in a big last week in that win against McComb. Flyers are going to have pretty good field position as we start this one. It looks like Trent Johnson, number 88, in there on the tackle, the sophomore. Nothing better than being on the kickoff team and getting that first hit of the ball game. So the Flyers will take over just shy of their own 40. We'll call it the 38. Winner's going to move on and play in the state championship game for Division 7. Saturday morning, I do believe, about a 10.30 kickoff. 10, 10, 30, I think, trying to do that from memory. It's tough to be violent that early in the morning, right? <laughs> but if you're playing for a state championship, you can. Here's an over formation tied into the left with twins. As the snap will go back. Looking to throw on first down, middle of the field. That one's going to be broken up incomplete. Nice job by Patrick Henry. Lincoln Krieger, number two for the Patriots, in to get the early stop. I tried to hit the post route. Throw just a little bit behind. Krieger was alert to get his right hand in it to knock it away. Yeah, trying to hit uh, Victor Holscher. And he's their leading receiver. Why not try to get him going right? 12 touchdowns, 53 catches, 1,048 yards. I like the idea. Try to get your big play receiver going early. I want to tell you that our scoreboard tonight is brought to you by Structure Outdoor Ohio by Alts. Let's Structure Outdoor Ohio bring your indoors out. So we're going to have... A late substitution. Is there an equipment issue here for Patrick Henry? Yeah, it's Avery Wright coming off, number 57. Looked like he was pointing towards a knee pad. Maybe it wasn't covering over top of a brace. It's looking to go to the run here, trying to stretch this one to the outside. And the Patrick Henry defense will read that one. And just absolutely nowhere to go for Kyle Lottie. Yeah, how about Lincoln Krieger flying up from the safety spot? Two plays in this game. He's involved in both of them. Partner, he was 11 yards deep and saw the motion rolled up, came and got the tackle for loss, along with Grant Smith, who chased it down from the backside. Just a little bit of a glimmer. What makes Grant Smith so good? How about the speed to chase it down from behind? Yeah, just two more years of high school football for him, too. Loss of three in the play. He's going to bring up third and 13 back to the 35-yard line. 
Now Funder Center looks to throw. He's going to fire this one. Middle of the field has a man. And that one's going to be incomplete as timing that one right will be Thomas Smith to knock that one away. Well, two times in this first drive, Marion Local tried to stretch vertical both on the post. Thomas Smith was there on the second one, and it was Lincoln Krieger the first time. Secondary for Patrick Henry playing big early. Our instant replays tonight brought to you by Homans Insurance, your trusted local insurance specialist, members of the Wayne Insurance Group, with two locations to serve you in Chickasaw and Versailles. Short punt heads out of bounds, and the Patriots of Patrick Henry will have pretty good field position for their first possession of the night. All right, going to get it about the 42-yard line. Well, thank you very much on the first punt. Patrick Henry will take it. And that's going to do nothing but breed more and more confidence into Patrick Henry getting a three and out against a high-powered Marion local offense. This is going to be spotted out across the 40. They're going to have it at their own 42. With 23 yards on the punt. Here's Lincoln Krieger in a shotgun. The handoff, Houston Miranda. We talked about the big year he had in our pregame, over 1,600 yards. He'll get a couple of yards there to the 35. Yeah, I'm good sorry, 45. Lincoln Stackler makes the tackle on the inside, or else that would have been big yardage. It's a gain of three on the run. is going to bring up second and seven. Yeah, correction, I believe it's Kyle Ungren that got involved on the tackle. This is a 3-4 a multiple front defense for Marion Local. And you saw at the last second, they rolled up to a pressure man coverage. Got to be sure that you know exactly what you're looking at before you snap it if you're Lincoln Krieger. And Krieger took over midway through the year. They continue to add plays to the playbook for him. He's getting more comfortable in that quarterback spot. He's trying to stretch this play out, and it's going to be nowhere as that one is going to be eaten up by, I believe, uh, Ethan Heitkamp yeah. comes up, makes Number the stop. Number 46, Heitkamp came flying in a hurry. Boy, was he sudden, right? Looked like it was going to be big yardage for Patrick Henry, and Heitkamp shows up, splits the block, and then has the strength to get Krieger to the ground. Fantastic. You see why he is so good. His 68 tackles on the year. The 5'10", 175-pound linebacker, Heitkamp, was outstanding on that play. Now third down coming up here for the Patriots. Third and seven. Krieger in the shotgun looking to throw. Two receivers lined to the far side. Krieger is going to stretch this one out. He's going to throw this one, fires it towards the sideline. It is caught. They're going to rule that complete to Smith, and it should be enough. No, it's not going to be. They're going to call that incomplete. My apologies. That's one of those where, you know, Lincoln Krieger is such a good athlete that sometimes, you know, you want to make plays when they're not there. He had a pocket in front of him. Go ahead and step up. But he has uh, the ability to use his feet for big plays. Had that 65-yard touchdown run a week ago. Tried to use his feet yet again, but good job by Marion Local to get the three and out. So still looking for our uh, initial first down of the night. Our first downs tonight are brought to you by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphos, and St. Mary's. As Patrick Henry's going to punt the football right back over to Marion Local. This one's going to be fielded at the 30-yard line by Victor Holscher. And Olsher's going to have plenty of running rooms. He gets to the outside, and he'll get into Patrick Henry territory yeah. on the return. It was kind of a line drive punt and allowed Marion Local to get that wall set up on the right-hand side. And Holsher took advantage of it, and a great uh, prime real estate right now for Marion Local. They're going to have a pretty solid field position here starting on the Patrick Henry side of the field at the Patriot 42. Knauf is going to run this one himself, try and get upfield, and he'll fall forward, and he'll get good yardage on first down. They're taking advantage of a really good block by Colton Arns. The uh, lineman, number 74, got out in front. Looked like it was going to be stopped initially, but he turned and uh, twisted. Got himself some uh, real good positive yards to make it second down in about four. Yeah, because they're going to give him close to seven on the run, the nose of the football at the 35-yard line. We said in our pregame, this will be the sixth meeting between these two. Five of the six have been uh, fairly recently here. As the second down run is going to be straight ahead, just power football as they go to Heitkamp at the fullback spot. And it looks like he'll have enough for our first Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken first down to the night. Yeah, running some inside zone. 
Mitten's going to make the tackle, and you're running at a freshman. You got to like your odds if you're Marion Local, and you get the feeling, right? Marion Local wants to start establishing themselves on the line of scrimmage. Love how quick they come out of the huddle, ready to go. These two have met uh, twice in state semifinals, 2016, 2019. Both lopsided Marion Local wins. Also added a home and home in 17 and 18. This throw is going to be incomplete, going to that far sideline. I don't know if Knauf just misjudged how far his receiver was and put a little bit too much on that one. I think he expected the receiver to settle up a little bit early, kind of drifted towards the sticks. Thus, the miscommunication uh, throws off the pass. That 2019 game, I, I was fortunate to do that one with the late Aaron Matthews here at Lima Senior, and it was the big play of Marion Local that day that ruled the day. Yeah, two playoff games, 36-7 and 40-6. Patrick Henry not hoping for uh, the same thing tonight. Well, Marion Local driving here. Knauf's going to run this one left side. Oh. He's going to take a big hit. <laughs> a little yes. bit of a quarterback on quarterback <laughs> crime right there. Lincoln Krieger says hello. You remember that uh, 2019 team? Uh, the 2019 team though. Uh, T.J. Ramey was an unbelievable player for them. A nose guard and a quarterback that year. You don't see that combination very tough. He was one tough dude. He certainly was. Just got some uh, collegiate honors, I believe, earlier this week. It's a run of five. And they'll go back to high camp. Works that right side. He's going to be dumped down. Well, then when he fell, I think when he, he landed on top of someone, rolled over, continued to move it on second effort, he's going to get the Lee's famous recipe chicken first down. Yeah, he had the belly-to-back suplex by Krieger, and when he flew over top, his feet were still on the ground, hadn't contacted the turf, so keep those feet moving like you're Fred Flintstone driving the automobile. Pick up seven on the play there. That is enough for their first down. Again, a first downs tonight. Brought to you by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima Wapak, Delft, St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all of your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. A Marion Local works the right side. And they'll get inside the 15, down to about the 12. As Kyle Adi that carried it at that time, 348 yards. And this is a Marion Local offense that will mix guys carrying the football, keeping them fresh. But the thing I really enjoy about Marion Local offensively is their tempo. You know, people say tempo, and they think they're going to the line of scrimmage going fast. No, they get to the line of scrimmage, and then they snap it quick. Don't give you an opportunity to really see what they're in. Canal under center. I'm sorry, in a shotgun. Looking to throw as he's going to roll to the left side. Has a man in the flat. That one is Adi again. Looking for the pylon, and he's going to be marked down. Looks like inside the five at about the four-yard line. Yeah, it's a great job of just flooding a side. Easy throw for your quarterback. There is a flag down, though. Marion local players believe this is going to be on them as they've already began to move, and it will be, as it looks like they're going to be called for the hold. It's tough for an offensive lineman. Everybody says, well, roll the quarterback, right? you got to get the edge block, but also the interior guys the defensive linemen are stunting or pinching or angling that way in a hurry. You have to step that way. And sometimes you don't step quick enough. You have that propensity to grab with the hand. And I don't know if you know this, but offensive linemen tend to hold sometimes. What? I, it's true. No. I like to call it creative blocking, but sometimes they, they, the officials will say, no, that's a hold. Just an out-and-out out hold. Nothing creative about it. <laughs> to me, as a former lineman, they are all creative. Sometimes you got to grab the jersey, grab the arm, grab the leg, right? That's creative. Holding call is going to back up Marion Local to a second and long here, back at about the 23-yard line. Now it's the snap, fires this one. They're going to fire it into the flat for Heitkamp. Works that right side. Makes the first man miss, but a good pursuit defense to follow for Patch Henry. He'll get down to the 15-yard line. That was Lincoln Krieger again, the safety flying up, getting involved on the tackle, setting up a huge third down in this early portion of the ball game. But how many times have we called Lincoln Krieger's name already defensively? He has been absolutely all over the field. Third down. And I believe they're going to call it about six or seven, it looks like. Looks like man coverage for Patrick Henry. Knauf looking to run out of it, works to the right side, and again is able to fall forward. And it looks like he will have enough for the least famous recipe chicken. Nope, I stand corrected. 
Yeah, it's going to be fourth I, and short, no doubt about it, right? I saw the effort and going past it, but apparently his body was down first, so they're going to mark him shy at about the four-yard line. Already a huge moment in this football game. Patrick Henry has to find a way to get the stop here. Fourth and one from the nine. Canal Funder center. Here's High Kim. Oh, over the pile. Still on his feet. And he's going to get in for the Brook Petroleum touchdown. Well, how about High Camp? Unbelievable ability to see Lincoln Krieger, who is diving over the pile. And he gives him a little yoy and a double yoy. And then sprints over top of the hurdle and gets Marion Local on the board on a huge fourth down and short. So High Camp in from nine yards out. And again, our touchdowns tonight. Brought to you by Burke Petroleum. They're now offering propane for residential farm, commercial, and industrial users. Burke Petroleum, dependable, available. Give them a call, 800-776-3097. Carson Bills on to attempt the extra point. Kick is up, and the extra point is good. So the Flyers able to break through first. They have the early 7-0 lead. We'll take a break here on WOSN. Tonight's Marion Local Premier sponsor is OPAC in Osgood. For all of your industrial painting, staining, and assembly needs, call OPAC. 7 up in the Flyers lead over Patrick Henry. Solid drive, nine plays, 42 yards. Ethan Heitkamp goes airborne to get the final nine as the Flyers strike first in this Division 7 state semifinal. A couple big runs by Knopf to get them going in that drive. Quarterback sweep on two occasions to get it to the fourth and short. Kickoff is going to be fielded at about the 14-yard line as Patriots trying to use some of their speed as Landon Johnson with this one. He'll give the Patriots good field position, and you got to feel we felt that a little bit with the, the short punt, and Patrick Henry had some good field position, but got to feel like this is already a big drive for the Patriots. Absolutely. Can't go three and out here again as... Marion Local is really starting to assert themselves on the line of scrimmage during that last drive. And Landon Johnson, you see, he is a dangerous guy. 57 catches, 899 yards, 9 TDs. He was that close to breaking that for a touchdown on the kickoff return. Patriots start this one at their own 32. Krieger in the shotgun. Here's Houston Miranda. Miranda able to break free. He's going to stretch this one to the outside. He'll get out near the 40-yard line with a good gain on first down. Yeah, best executed run play so far in this game for Patrick Henry. Way to win first down, setting up a second and short. This will go a long way, and another Patrick Henry player having to come off the field. Officials sending him off. And it was Adrian Delgado pointed to something on his uniform, sent him off the field. It's so late to get a substitution on, but we do see that body race out there. Yeah, Hayden Meyer checks in. So officials coming over to the Patch Henry coaching staff to explain to him because that is the second player that the officials have sent off. You lose about 100 pounds on the line of scrimmage on that exchange. Delgado at 277. So our White Hat now having conversations with the coaches. Something about their gear maybe these guys haven't seen all year? No, they're, whatever was needed to be fixed has now been fixed. No, I don't think Del he can come back Del in, though. Yeah, he's got a way to play. Yeah, There wasn't a timeout. This is an official stoppage. you got to like the fact, though, that Delgado's like, I'm good now. Let me get back out there. It's much like you, I, I do wonder, maybe with everyone, most of the players for Patch Henry in the shorter pants, so is it a thing where the... The, maybe the legs are rolling up and exposing the knee pad? Yeah, the officials are kind of sticklers on that thing, right? And they will tell each coach, you know, in the pregame meeting, coach, I uh, want to make sure this, this, and this. And so they, they will make coaches aware, and then you go in and you talk to your assistants, and you say, hey, make sure all the guys are in the right pads, make sure they have knee pads that cover the knees. Now another problem we are having is apparently the clock ran through some of this, so the officials are going to... Reset it. I believe they put about eight more seconds on the game clock, which now reads 442 on our structure outdoor Ohio scoreboard. Patriots with the second and two, as it looks like we are underway once again. Straight ahead they go Krieger. Ooh. 
Krieger needed two yards, and I think he got one, although we see the official from the far side was near the hash mark of the 42, the official on our side back towards the 41. They're going to meet in the middle and call this about a yard and a half. Oh, that's a big play right now for Patrick Henry. Don't run quarterback lead again because how about the fill of Marion Local's linebacker? See ball, hit ball. Marion Local attacked in a hurry. Third and one coming up here for the Patriots. The last thing they want to do, as Miles said, is give the ball right back to the Flyers, playing with a little bit of momentum, up 7 to nothing. Krieger get the handoff. Houston Miranda needed a yard, judging by where the officials have run in, especially the guy on the opposite side of the field. I'm not sure if he got there. Now, Ungren pinched from his right defensive tackle spot, ripped right across the face of Delgado, got in the backfield in a hurry. And Bill Inselman looks like he's going to go for it here on fourth down and short. And no gain on the play, so fourth and still just shy of a full yard to gain. Patriots, no hesitation, keeping the offense under the field. I wonder how much the, the last punt for Patrick Henry affected the decision. Three on the, on the play clock. And this is Krieger in the shotgun, trying to find anywhere to go. And they will unstack the bodies. And they're going to rule it Marion local football, I do believe. Yeah, Landon Arling, number 14, showed up in an angry way. 96 tackles on the year, none bigger than that one right there. Turns the ball over for Marion local. Wanted to make sure at first maybe the officials just uh, was in such a hurry to rule the first down, went the opposite way, but they did rule Patch Kendry short. So a punt and now a loss of downs, and with just over three minutes left to go in our opening quarter, Flyers are going to get the football back on the Patrick Henry side of the field at the 41. Yeah, remember, it was an eight-yard run on first down. And it looked like uh, Patrick Henry's going to get rolling. Yeah, Marion local defense, boy, they're stout. Now if looking to throw. Has man wide open in the flat. Long throw to get there. A one-on-one -on -one play and as the uh, man's going to be taken out of bounds, Kyle Adi. Now Adi just fortunate to get back close to the line of scrimmage. Covered well by Patrick Henry. Looks like they're going to try and keep everything in front, rally up, and there's that man again, Lincoln Krieger, who two snaps ago, or one snap ago, was just throttled trying to get the first down, and now he shows up. Lincoln Krieger is a dude. Pass play's going to go for a loss of a yard, second and 11 from the 42. This canal funder center, pitch to Adi, cutting upfield. He's going to be undercut as he gets inside the 40 down to about the 38. As Sullivan Gray comes flying in to make the tackle. But it was made because Lincoln Krieger came flying up and blew up the elite block. But Lincoln Krieger has been impressive for Patrick Henry early. Big third down coming up here. It's going to be third and seven. Knopf looking to throw, has a man. This one is caught, Adi again. He's going to be driven out of bounds at about the 32. And it looks like they will be maybe a yard shy of the first down. Yeah, hats off to Tim Goodwin and his staff over there at Marion Local. Remember, that was a play on their last drive they used to get close to the goal line. There was nobody for Patrick Henry in the flat. Circle that one on your play chart. Come back to it on your next drive. A lot of coaches will forget about that play. Marion Local, they, if it works, they'll come back to it right away. A patch Kedry lined up, fell short on fourth down. We'll see what Marion Local does here on fourth down. They'll go to Heitkamp straight ahead. Heitkamp able to fall forward inside the 30. He'll get to the 29, picked up three when he needed one, and it's enough for the Lee's famous recipe chicken first down. Boy, he is a load. Drops those shoulders and just plows through everyone. Grant Smith was there first. Looked like Patrick Henry had him stopped, but second effort gets the first down. First down from just inside the 30-yard line. Knopf hands. This will be the third back that we'll see in action tonight now. As Drew Laws, Law is able to take off as he turns the corner, and he'll have Ali's famous recipe chicken first down. Yeah, the junior's got a little speed in his feet, doesn't he? 
bounces that one outside. 490 yards and eight TDs coming in tonight. It is tough to play three different backs with three different styles, especially when Laws has that speed to get outside. And Laws will pick up 18 there. And it's first and 10 from the 12. Kicking off under center. Here's Heitkamp straight ahead. And Heitkamp's going to be wrestled down. Nice little high-low maneuver to take him down. Yeah, Ungren with a great lead block, number 59. He's had himself a really good game on defense so far. But that time, the down block springs his running back for positive yardage. Picked up about four. We'll call it second and six. There's a Kavian Kreider, number 33 for Patrick Henry. One of the two take him down. This offensive line for Marion Local just coming off the football so quickly. See the eye formation. And instead, they're going to give to the man coming in motion, and they're going to get in for the Burke Petroleum touchdown. This time, it's Kyle Adi who's able to cut up field and score. Now, you remember years ago, John Robinson at USC would run student body right, student body left, and it didn't matter who the running back was. They were going to get positive yardage, right? James Wilder, oh, geez, uh, Marcus Allen, O.J. Simpson. Didn't matter, right? That's what it was right there. The old student body to the left, just so many white jerseys in front. Cutback lane was there. Go ahead and take it for an easy score. And again, our touchdowns brought to you by Burke Petroleum. They're now offering propane for residential, farm, commercial, and industrial users. As the extra point is good, Burke Petroleum, 800-776-3097. Carson Bill is able to add the extra point as the Flyers add on to their lead. Now 14 and nothing late in our opening quarter. We'll take a break here at WOSN. Well, for the second time, Mary Local uh, able to take advantage of a, a short field. They get a short touchdown run. This time it's Kyle Adi, eight yards out, with a minute 10 left to go in the opening quarter on our Structure Outdoor Ohio scoreboard. Now 14-0, Mary Local with a lead over Patrick Henry. Patriots trying to get some sort of return. The Flyers do a better job bottling that one up. The Patriots are going to start from about their own 20-yard line. How about Drew Laws, though? Had the big run on the last offensive drive. Hey, we want you to run down on kickoff. Okay, coach, I'll do that. Runs down and then breaks down with the best of them, right? Pitter-patter, keep the runner in front, and then get him to the ground. Boy, fundamentally sound football all across the board for Marion Local. So they're going to mark this one just past their own 20, their own 22. So over a minute left to go. Patriots got to do something maintain a possession. It's been a three and out and a loss on downs. Krieger looking to throw, has the man in the seam. That one's going to be incomplete. At Trent Johnson, the tight end, wide open. Johnson just unable to hang on to the football. Now, the Cardinal Sin, right, trying to run before you catch it. Had it in his hands. Was going to be a, a big play. You could see the excitement, but last thing you got to do is catch it, right? You got to be sick. Young man thought he had it. Again, a replays tonight brought to you by Homans Insurance, your trusted local insurance specialist, member of the Wayne Insurance Group with two locations to serve you in Chickasaw and Versailles. Second and 10 for the Patriots now from their own 22-yard line. Krieger trying to dance around in the pocket. He is going to be dropped for a loss. That was a late adjustment on coverage. Gave one look, then rolled to a three. Kind of confused Krieger. Wasn't confident in throwing it to where the spot he wanted to go because the coverage had changed. He tries to take off with it, but this Marion local defense, they're smothering. Yeah, Evan Heitkamp in as a part of that stop. Be a loss of three, third and 13. Patrick Henry doing everything they can just to avoid sending this ball back over to the Flyers before we get to the end of the quarter. Krieger looking to throw. Long throw. It's this one's going to come down the far side. That one is going to be incomplete. Krieger tried to throw that one into some coverage, looking for one of his top receivers in Thomas Smith. Yeah, I like the idea trying to get Thomas Smith a touch. He's been a zero, held to zero catches so far in this football game, but uh, Marion Local, knowing it was third, uh, third down and long, rolled to a cover too, so they had safety help over top, and it was easy to defend for Marion Local. So we'll see twin safeties back at midfield 
for Marion Local, ready to receive the punt from Patrick Henry. As this one's gonna be blocked, and with one hand, what a play made there as Carter Jones is gonna get that one into the end zone for the Burke Petroleum touchdown. And Carter block punt, Jones picks it up. How about the left hand to scoop it up and score? Patrick Henry was terrified that Marion Local could apply pressure to their punt, and their fears come to fruition as Marion Local adds another touchdown. So Jones with the block punt and the score. And again, our touchdowns today brought to you by Burke Petroleum, who's now offering propane for residential, farm, commercial, and industrial users. Burke Petroleum, dependable, available. That was just a total jailbreak on that right-hand side for Patrick Henry because George Delgado tried to get rid of it as quickly as possible. So Bills will add another extra point. Thought he was suffered injury. He's just doing a little dance. That's all it was. That's Bills. all it was. So well, now a lot of dancing for Marion Local now at 21-0. Yeah, 21-0 here late in our opening quarter after the block kick. And we'll take a break here on WOSN. Well, 21 nothing following the Carter Jones blocked punt, scoop, and score. Marion Local now in command here early on. It's Division 7 state semifinal. Kickoff fielded at about the 11-yard line. Out across the 20, and that is again where the Patriots will take over. And they'll have to run one play before we get to the end of this opening frame. Never a good sign when you're the returner and you look back and all the guys that are blocking for you are staring at you. Because that means that they missed their blocks, and that's what happened. That was another jailbreak on the kickoff team. The swarming white jerseys all over top the return game of Patrick Henry. The Patriots just need to have something good happen. They haven't had a whole lot of success. Three and out, a loss of downs, and now a blocked punt. That has been the end of their uh, three drives so far this evening. Lincoln Krieger in a shotgun, will be back there by himself, so he'll send everyone free. Fires this one coming to the near side, Houston Miranda with it. He'll get out across the 35. He will have Ali's famous recipe chicken first down, and that is how our opening quarter will end. So good play for Patrick Henry to at least get something good after one. It's 21-0, Mary Local, and we'll take a break here on WOSN. Randy Roberts, Miles Holiday back with you here from Spartan Stadium in Lima. 21-0, Marion Local with the lead early on over Patrick Henry on our scoreboard tonight. Brought to you by Structure Outdoor Ohio by Alts. Let Structure Outdoor Ohio bring your indoors out. Patrick Henry trying to get something going after the play to end the opening quarter, and they'll get another one this time. Houston Miranda on the ground will get enough for another Lee's famous recipe chicken first down. Yeah, second best run of the night for Patrick Henry. Uh, Miranda authored the first. Here we go again. You see the little quickness in his feet. A little slide to the left and get that burst going vertical. Finally, back-to-back -back first downs for Patrick Henry. A pickup of a 12 in the pass play to end the opening quarter and the run of 13 to begin the second. Back-to-back -back big plays. Patrick Henry with the football out at the 48-yard line. Krieger in that shotgun once again. Another play to Houston Miranda. Miranda trying to go forward. He'll get into Marion local territory, and that'll be just about it. Well, now the officials are going to come back. You saw the official on our side was up. Other side of the 40, but that's going to be marked back at the 49, so only a yard on the run. Yeah, Wyatt Greenwood caught it from behind. Tried to run the old counter tray, bring the tackle and tight end around. But they didn't get a really good jo job at the play side on the down block. Second and nine coming up here just shy of midfield. That second quarter clock beginning to run. Patriots in trouble here at 21-0. Krieger, first it looked like he was ready to throw. Now he's going to tuck it into that left hand. He'll get out of bounds close to the Marion Local 45, where it's going to bring up third and about three or maybe four. Yeah, wise decision by Krieger because they're going to run the shovel, uh, but everyone from Mar Marion Local is kind of playing on the line of scrimmage, anticipating it. Well, no one takes you, go ahead and give as many positive yards as possible. 
Smart decision by Lincoln Krieger. Does pick up about six on the run there, so we're going to call it third and three. Patriots now at the Marion Local 45. First time that they've reached plus territory tonight. Play clock going to be at five. Krieger gets this one off, fires quickly. That one's going to be knocked out of the sky. Trying to hit an open receiver, but a big play defensively is Mitchell Randley. Number 18 just, uh, just jumps and knocks that one away. Yeah, how about the go-go gadget arms out of Randley, right? Jeez, he's got some extension right there. Everybody talks about catch radius for receivers. Well, he's got deflection radius playing right there, and it's a good thing for Marion Local because that was going to be a hitch for a first down. <laughs> so fourth and three, Patrick Henry's going to send their punt team on. Again, their last punt was blocked and returned for a score by Carter Jones. As it looks like this time, Marion Local is going to have a return on as the ball is going to take a sideways bounce and go out of bounds. It's not a deep kick as this will go out of bounds at about the 26-yard line. Yeah, I'm not sure Delgado realized he had a little bit more time. I think maybe that was a little byproduct of the block, right? You think I you got to so. go faster than what you should and doesn't really get a step down, kind of shanks it a little bit to the left. Well, at least for Patrick Henry, though, they, they were able to flip the field a little bit. Yeah, Mary Locals had pretty good field position, especially their last two drives starting on the Patrick Henry side of the field. This time it'll be their own 26. Ten and a half minutes left to play, opening half, and the Flyers in front, 21-0. Kanoff looking to throw, he's going for the home run ball. He's got two receivers downfield, and this one's going to be incomplete. Good coverage applied by the Patriots with both Thomas Smith and Lincoln Krieger downfield. Yeah, I think if Knopf throws it early, this is going to be a touchdown. It's the old uh, screen and go. They've shown it on film that they run the quick screen, and so they know Patrick Henry is going to be ready to jump on it. It's a screen and go, but good makeup by Thomas Smith. And better job, I think, there by the officials, letting the receiver and the defensive back kind of play with each other. Nobody got the advantage on the contact, so no foul on that play. Great play by Thomas Smith. Well, second and uh, 10 coming up here for Marion Local following the incomplete pass. Now the pitch is they'll get it back under the ground. Nice hole working up on that right side of the line as uh, fighting his fa way forward again, Kyle Adi, and he'll have the Lee's famous recipe chicken first down. A player down, slow and to get Adi up. And is having some trouble. Looks like holding the shoulder. Oh, I guarantee I know what that is because I've had that injury. That is a stinger. You know why it's called a stinger? Because it stings? Yeah, you get a pinched nerve and it feels like lightning is going down your arm and it goes dead. And then slowly over time on the sideline, you'll get the feeling to come back and you'll be able to come back in the game. It is not a fun experience. Well, Adi picks up 17 on the run, then we'll uh, exit. And they'll turn now to Height Camp falling forward. He'll get to midfield. Well, the offensive line for Marion Local doing a good job. They have definitely taken advantage of a small up front, playing only seven in the box for Patrick Henry. And if you're only playing seven in the box, you're going to have to be strong up front. Marion Local having the advantage with the numbers. And back to the ground there. So Marion Local is going to pick up a first down as they run to the Patrick Henry 49s. And now for a Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken first down, Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphi, St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all of your catering needs. Lee's a Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. Now, unfortunately, it looks like an injured player down for the Patriots. Yeah, it's Avery Wright, number 57. The outside linebacker, the junior, and he's uh, laboring in pain. Looks like might have had the pile come on top of him after being involved in that stop. So while they take a look at the injured player for the Patriots, we'll step aside here and take a break on WOSN. Well, 
it doesn't look like good news for the Patriots as Avery Wright, the uh, offensive and defensive lineman for Patch Henry, a multitude of uh, two-way players for this uh, Patriot team has needed some help to get off onto the bench. We get back to action. First down at the 45. High snap that's going to get away from Knauf, and he is going to be dropped back inside his own 40 for a big loss. Now Trent Johnson's going to chase him down and get the credit for the sack. Boy, that was a perilous moment for Marion Local because a red jersey picks that up. He's going to scoop and score, but what a fortuitous bounce to go right back into Knopf's hands. It's a loss of 17. It's going to bring up second and 27 as Marion Local will get this one back at their own 38. Knopf in the shotgun. No hurry to throw. He's going to run up, and he is met at the line as Luke Bosselman will be one of the first ones in to make this stop. A tremendous recognition by Bosselman to see it's going to be quarterback draw. Comes across the guard's face. Gets the quarterback back-to-back -back positive plays for this Patrick Henry defense. Let's see if Ben George, a defensive coordinator for Patrick Henry, dials up a blitz on third down and long or plays big-time deep coverage. Yeah, lost two more. It's going to bring up third and 29. I don't know if there's a guy who gets more working the sideline than Ben George. If you ever watch a Patch Henry football game, especially when his defense is on the field. Knopf trying to get away from the pressure. He's going to take off and run. And he's not going to get that far away from the Patch Henry defense. He'll be brought down at about the 37-yard line, and it's going to be fourth and long. Now, how about the series by Luke Bosselman? Number 59 for the Patriots. Had the a big tackle a moment ago. This time uh, forces the quarterback out of the pocket. And the wherewithal by Knopf, though, took a peek over his right-hand shoulder. Should I throw it or not? Wisely decided not to. For the second time tonight, the Flyers will punt the football. Patch Kennedy electing to let this one go, and it's going to bounce on the turf, take a nice, friendly roll. And this thing's going to be downed at about the six-yard line. I think if they want had this one back, they'd say, fair catch that young man so he can save about 15 yards and uh, not be down by 21 and start at our own six with 7.02 left. Instead, that's exactly what's going to happen to the Patriots. But that defense has given up a couple of drives with a stop. They got helped with the uh, bad snap. Still took advantage of it. It's amazing at how many times you and I call games and a team's a shotgun team, and every game there's like one bad there's snap, There's at least right? one, right? There's just one. So Patriots trying to find something. Had back-to-back -back big plays in that uh, last drive. Krieger looking to throw in the seam again. This one is going to be incomplete, then nearly intercepted. But and just a little bit behind Johnson or else... He is going to run right through a too high safety look, and he still might be running. That was going to be a big play, nice inside fake. I like the play call because everybody's thinking that you're in your own end. What are you going to do? You're going to run the football. Play fake was fantastic just to throw a little bit behind. Griffin Bruns nearly had the interception after that one went through the hands of the intended target. Ends up being an incomplete pass, second and 10 coming up for the Patriots. It just kind of one of those nights so far for Patrick Henry, right? Remember they had that drop on that seam route earlier. That one could have been a big play as well. Krieger looking to throw once again in his end zone in trouble. Football's come loose. What are the officials gonna call this one? They are, are they gonna say incomplete pass? I'm not sure he actually was able to move his arm going forward as it was contacted. Uh, kind of the old, uh, should I say Tom Brady rule? Uh, very fortunate for Patrick Henry, or else that would have been an easy touchdown for Marion Local. No tuck, no tuck rule. Uh, no safety as well. So Patrick Henry is going to dodge a bullet, and they're going to be faced with a third and ten. What do you think? I, I think he was trying to throw it, but the arm was, was yeah, stopped, right? Yeah, the ball came out well before the motion went through. Tough call for the official as he was behind the play. It's third down coming up here. Krieger looking to throw again. Fires this one. It's caught. 
finding his way in traffic again and going to Thomas Smith who's going to have the Lees, a famous recipe chicken, first down. Yeah, there's just a little bit of a glimpse of his ability able to sky up. If you haven't watched Thomas Smith play basketball, he can just jump out of the gym. A lot of fun, but you saw a little bit of it right there. Good clear out, and then he's going to run the post underneath it. Johnson clears it out, and then Thomas Smith runs the post and out jumps everybody for the catch. Yeah, pick up a 23. He'll get the Patriots out to their own 29-yard line. Krieger, five TD passes, was going to be uh, on his way to uh, all-league receiver status. The injury to Nash Myers had to fill in. Now this one thrown up for grabs as it will reach the Patrick Henry sideline. Yeah, good decision, throwing it away. It was going to be a double move trying to get uh, Houston Miranda to go vertical. Uh, they had a guy underneath and deep for Marion Local as they have done a great job of giving all kinds of different looks in the secondary, confusing Lincoln Krieger. Don't forget, you know, Lincoln Krieger's been fantastic, but he doesn't have a whole lot of experience reading coverage. I liked what uh, Coach Bill Inselman said, one of the local newspapers. You, you, you basically, you taught him just enough to kind of get through the first couple of weeks, and as his experience has gone on, as the season's gone on, they've added a few more things. Krieger now looking to run as he's going to get a lead block. Breaks us to the outside. Heidkamp's going to be the first one to chase him down from behind as Krieger's able to get out across the 35. They might mark him up closer to the 37. Well, the best thing for Patrick Henry is he's just a junior, right? He plays like a senior. What an athlete. He's going to have a whole nother fall season with ben Bill Inselman next year. and It's an offseason where he can play quarterback. That'll be a huge mm -hmm. difference. Pickup of uh, seven on the run is going to bring up third and three from the 36-yard line. Patriots trying to get that goose egg off the scoreboard, trying to stay into this one. Krieger quickly gets rid of this one. Pass is caught, but immediately out there to make the stop is Griffin Bruns who nearly had the interceptions. The pass is caught by Landon Johnson but it's still going to be shy of the first down. Well, uh, the mixed coverage changed the blocking assignments on that quick screen and allowed Bruns to come flying up late. And good job by Bruns on the open field tackle. Boy, third down defense for Marion Local has just been outstanding so far. The Delgado on to punt once again for the Patriots. He stands at his own 25. Calls for this one. They'll step into it, sends it away as it'll take, started to take a patch. Henry bounced and went backwards, so that one's quickly jumped on and downed at about the 37-yard line. It was a successful drive for Patrick Henry because they got out of the shadow of their own end, right? Picked it up mm -hmm. at the six-yard line after the punt and uh, really had a tough situation, but anytime you can get the ball on the opposite side of the 50 with that negative field position that they inherited, that's a good drive. So Marion Local will start this one from their own 37, already up 21 nothing. Couple of rushing touchdowns and a special team score. It's cut off in the shotgun, late give. Going ahead, the bruising fullback and just moving forwards, Ethan Heitkamp. And he's going to get out to about the 45. A great job by number 51, Adam Winter, leading the way. Boy, every single one of these Marion local running backs, they attack the line of scrimmage. Not a lot of tackles for loss against them because the running backs hit it so hard. Pickup of eight on the run is going to bring up second and two. Knopf in that shotgun again. Fakes the give to the first man, then on the option pitch, they get it to the outside. As Kyle Adi back in, and Adi is going to have enough for the Lee's famous recipe chicken first down as he gets into PH territory. That's yeah, Kreider coming from the middle. Sophomore linebacker getting out on the edge, making the tackle on the line of scrimmage. So just inside the midfield stripe, it's Marion Local down to the Patrick Henry 49. Knopf in the shotgun, you see two receivers to the far side. He's gonna roll that way, long pass, fires it, it is caught. It's going to take two defensive backs to get the receiver out of bounds as Andrew Pullman, number 10, able to bring that one in. 
Great decision by now. Rolling to the left, just a two-man route. Got the seven route behind it. You read the corner. If he goes up on the hitch, he hit the seven behind it. But the corner played off, so go ahead and take the free yards. This is a Marion local offense. It's impressive because they're always doing things positively. Smart decision making all the time. Pick up a nine is going to bring up second and one. Here's the pitch for Adi. Adi just cuts right up field. Only needed a yard. Got about five. He's got enough again for another Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken first down. A 314 left. Flyers have three timeouts. Patrick Henry with three also. You wonder if it gets inside about two and a half, if Marion Local will start to pick up their tempo a little bit. If they can put another touchdown on here before half, they might think about running clock time in a second. Well, you're going to see the eye formation with a man coming in motion. Knopf looking to throw as the throwback screen set up. Nice job of the lineman to avoid any sort of contact so it wouldn't be a penalty as they get it set up to Adi. Grant Smith is going to chase it down, but they took advantage of the pursuit of Luke Bosselman, number 59, who's made a couple of plays in the backfield against Marion Local. But Bosselman's like, ah, I got another free one. And then, uh-oh, they're throwing it over top of my head. Gain of five brings up second and five. So Flyers just in no hurry, just over two minutes left to go opening half. Knopf looking to throw again. Load up, looking for the end zone. That one is going to be incomplete, but we do have a flag, and I saw a little bit of contact as the officials are going to say that Pullman had it but didn't get a foot down. But we're going to see what the penalty is. Uh, one official signaled against Patrick Henry. The White Hat said it was against Marion Local. Uh, Pullman, I thought, was the one that initiated the push. That is a tough call. They're going to call Reed Krieger, the freshman defensive back. Take another look at that one. See if you can challenge it because I thought it was Pullman that had the creative separation with the push. So that is going to be a 15-yarder. And that's going to get him just inside the 20-yard line. I'm going to mark that down to about the 16. Get a replace tonight brought to you by Homans Insurance, your trusted local insurance specialist, member of the Wayne Insurance Group. Here's Heidkamp. Stumbling, bumbling, and inside the 10-yard line. Now, you got to feel good as a running back when you're getting seven yards before anyone is in front of your face. That means your big guys up front are doing a great job. Heidkamp was five yards into the defensive backfield before any red jersey even showed up. Second and about three coming up from the nine. Penalty's going to help Marion Local here with the clock, down to a minute and a half left to go. Knopf looking to throw, looking for the corner of the end zone. That one is going to be broke up at the last minute. Well, Thomas Smith never found the football for Patrick Henry as the corner out there, but you know what he did right? He played through the receiver. Just if you don't know where the football's at, you watch the receiver's eyes, and when he brings his hands up, you take your hand up in between it. Great job by Thomas Smith. I spent uh, practice there at Patrick Henry Tuesday, and Ben George was really working that secondary. They do a great job of teaching the fundamentals out there. Well, third in short coming up here for the Flyers. Defense trying to get set for Patrick Henry. Now well, we've got all sorts of whistles. The play clock was down to one. And we are going to have a timeout. Timeout tonight are brought to you by Metzger Financial Services. Helping you plan your financial future. Call 419-225-6067 or visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. So Marion Local with the timeout to avoid a penalty as the play clock had run down to one. Stops it here with a minute 22 left to go before we get to halftime. Yeah, I think it was a timeout just to let the clock bleed down, right? Don't give Patrick any, any time. Obviously, with 122 left and you still have two timeouts, you, or you can do anything that you want, right? 
Oh, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. You, you can throw it. I, I like the call on the fade. Don't be surprised if it's another run play right here on third down. Even if they don't get it and it's fourth and one, you can run that toss sweep that's been unstoppable for you on fourth down. And this is third and three from the nine, so Mary Local have the opportunity to get another first down here, so don't necessarily have to go for the end zone. off in the shotgun we'll have a man going in motion they're all going to be lead blockers for him off he's going to get more than the first down he's going to get in for the Burke Petroleum touchdown now you see why Patrick Henry is so concerned about the overload stuff that Marion Local likes to run on offense they showed a a, a pistol formation offset the back then bring motion and the next thing you know they got more guys in front of them than you can come defend it and that's an easy run by Knopf for a touchdown. So Knopf becomes the fourth different player to score this evening for Marion Local. Now 27 to nothing. As Carson Bills on to attempt the extra point. Again, our touchdowns today brought to you by Burke Petroleum. They're now offering propane for residential, farm, commercial, and industrial users. Burke Petroleum, dependable, available. 800-776-3097. 7. Extra point is up and good. So 28 nothing. Flyers in front of Patrick Henry. We'll take a break here on WOSN. Twenty-eight nothing. Marion Look with the lead following the nine-yard touchdown run by Justin Knopf. And we want to tell you that the premier sponsor for Marion Local tonight is OPAC in Osgood for all your industrial painting, staining, and assembly needs. Call OPAC. Carson Bills for the kickoff here. So he'll send this one. The end over end kick fielded at about the six yard line. This Patriots trying to make something happen as Landon Johnson ran into a thigh of a defender and will go down. Well, a little bit of decision time if you're Bill Inselman with 110 left and uh, you still have three timeouts. What do you, what do you think, partner? You, you try to put some plays together with 110 left or you don't want to risk it, you know, already down by 28, don't want to make it worse and make it 35 before half. What do you think? Yeah, this is tough. This is why Bill Inselman makes the big bucks. <laughs> Huge dollars. Yeah, this is... Got to feel like you got to get back into it. But like you said, the last thing you want to do is three and out. How about Houston Miranda finding some room out across the 40? He'll have the Lee's famous recipe chicken first down, and that might change your decision making here as he gets out to the 44 yard line. Yeah, people are like, well, why do you call that on uh, first down right there? Well, because if you get positive yardage, now you think about being a little more greedy, right? If it gets stuffed at the line of scrimmage, you're like, let's go in at a halftime. But they're able to get a positive play together. Now let's go time, see if we can move the ball upfield. At 16 on the run, Patriots still letting this uh, clock run. Nearing 40 seconds to go. Krieger looking to throw, steps in, fires down the sideline. That one's going to be incomplete. As actually Landon Johnson, who kind of turned into the defensive back for Patrick Kearney, went and knocked that one away. Well played by Marion Local. And they've had the right coverage all game along for the situations. That time, knowing that Patrick Kearney might want to go vertical, well, you're playing off coverage. It's almost like Connor Stellians is over there telling them what coverage they should be in. I don't know if you've heard of that guy. He's been in the news. Has he? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Had ties to Michigan. <laughs> yeah. Are they playing some big important football game this weekend? <laughs> Something like that. Second and 10 coming up from the 44. Krieger, take off and run. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage. Someone had him by the ankle, and now we'll see another Metzger Financial Services timeout taken. Uh, they say his name is Simon. Simon Partington, the senior. 75 tackles on the year. Boy, he gets a big one right there because that would have been huge yardage for Lincoln Krieger. There was no other white jersey around. Yeah, no gain there. So, again, the timeout and our timeouts are brought to you by Metzger Financial Services. Helping you plan your financial future. Call 419-225-6067 or visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. 29 seconds left to go before... Halftime, Patrick Henry now faced with a third and about 10. 
and you just get the feeling that Patrick Henry coaches really aren't going to be comfortable until that clock's all the way at triple zeros. Even <laughs> if you give Marion Local two seconds left. Oh, without a doubt, right? Yeah. They have some kind of plan with two seconds. Marion Local is well-schooled, well-coached. If I'm Patrick Henry, though, and I know that Marion Local has played off coverages on long down situations, dial up something a little bit short where maybe your receiver can run to the first down as opposed to trying to catch it beyond the mark. See what the Patriots elect to do here. Looks like zone coverage for Marion Local. Lincoln Krieger looking to throw. Trying to load up, fires this one downfield. That one's going to be incomplete. Had Thomas Smith momentarily, but that one is going to be wrestled away from him. Yeah, Everman, at number eight, made sure he couldn't. Smith tried to go up high, hit that post route earlier in this half. But Everman said, no way, uh-uh. Time for you guys to punt the football. And with 22 seconds left, Marion Local will be saved from having to use a timeout with the incomplete pass. I'll be surprised if Marion Local doesn't try to come after this one again. Remember, they had a block for a touchdown earlier. Sending nine to the line of two back, and they're going to send a couple. This one is off quickly, and this punt is fielded just shy of the 30-yard line. And the big hit is going to end any sort of return as Lincoln Krieger is going to put a stop to that right quick. Well, Lincoln Krieger has put on a show hitting people everywhere on this football field for Patrick Henry. And unfortunately, Patrick Henry, they got another player down. And this is going to be away from the football at the far side of the field, and I believe this is uh, a Cavian Kreider, number 33. And kind of favoring that right leg. It was way behind the play. Just wonder if he got rolled up. Sometimes if you're running downfield and you don't see someone get blocked near you and they hit the ground, you roll on top of them. So Marion Local will start at their own 43. They have 13 seconds, up 28 nothing. So if you're the Flyers, how greedy do you want to get? You're very greedy, right? Go ahead and end the game here. They have two timeouts left in them. If you're Patrick Henry, defense quarter Ben George, you're telling your secondary, let's get at least 20 yards off the line of scrimmage. Will be uh, Patrick Henry football to begin the second half. Uh, late recognition on the trips for Patrick Henry. Quickly get rid of this one out to Adi. Adi, he'll bring to the outside. Adi to that far sideline is going to be knocked out of bounds as he'll get the Lee's famous recipe chicken first down, and it stops the clock with six seconds. Now take it to about the 39 with six seconds left. What this does is it gets you in a position, go ahead and heave it towards the end zone. If it was on the opposite side of the 50, that's a tough throw. A big personnel change for Marion Local as they bring in a whole grouping of receivers. And there's 18 yards on the play, and that changes it from the 39 now. From here, you gotta believe you can get into the end zone. Patrick Henry, you're yelling on the sideline, knock it down. Well, we'll see what kind of arm as this one gets into the end zone and it's gonna be incomplete. As the ball pops free at the last minute and that is how our first half will end. Well, Lincoln Krieger saves it because there was a jersey, a white jersey behind him and he doesn't get his right hand on that. That's gonna be a touchdown for Marion Local. How about the throw by Knopf though? Showing off the arm. 28-0, Marion Local at the half. They lead Patrick Henry, and we'll have the second half for you after this here on WOSN. Randy Roberts, Miles Holiday with you here at uh, Spartan Stadium in Lima. Just about ready to begin the second half. This is Division 7 state semifinal. Currently Marion Local on its way to uh, defending the uh, state title. They've won twice in a row. Now 28 nothing. they lead Patrick Henry at the half. And partner, it's uh, started pretty good for the Patriots. They forced a punt. Things were going their way, and really it kind of goes back to a, a fourth down call. You were in a second and two for Patrick Henry. 
you end up losing the ball two plays later on downs, mm -hmm. and it's kind of all gone downhill from there. Yeah, second and two, and you go for it on fourth down, and you get stuck. And then uh, Marion Local goes ahead and puts one in, and then the, the block punt right after that. Next thing you know, oh, Lord, it's 21 nothing. It's a Marion Local team, man. You make one mistake, they jump all over it. They will make you pay for that mistake, but no doubt about it. Uh, Patrick Henry, if they're going to get back in this football game, they got to score the next touchdown, right? If, if Marion Local gets the next touchdown, now you're dealing with the running clock, and this game gets out of hand in a hurry. Patrick Henry got to do something with this opening drive. I don't want to take anything away from what uh, Marion Local has done in that opening half, but that rushing attack, good as advertised so far. It sure is. Always falling forward. Offensive line has been as about as dominant as you can be. We had a great performance last week, uh, you and I, when we saw Liberty Center and Mary Local up to that task. Spatch Kendry will get the football to begin the second half. The uh, kickoff fielded at about the nine yard line. Or this run is going to be into the mass of bodies that is huddled at about the 25, and it looks like that is where. Patriots begin its initial drive of the second half. I think Andrew Pullman, one of the first guys down for Marion Local to get involved on that uh, middle return against Patrick Henry. But uh, everybody played that one extremely well. Had a little bit of a rugby scrum right there. Officials went ahead and blew it dead before the runner was down because couldn't really tell what was going on. Just 12 guys on each side in the middle of the field. Oh, 11. It's not the CFL, right? <laughs> 12. Yeah. I, we were talking about the Great Cup at halftime, so I, I got uh, confused. So no Rouge and no 55-yard line. This is going to be a first down run here as uh, Krieger's going to try to fall forward. He might have gotten about a yard. That was the quarterback run they tried, to, if you remember, in the first half on that fourth down attempt that got stuffed. A quarterback lead over the right-hand side. Kind of the same result, not much going on there. Now, were you surprised with the CFL Great Cup that the uh, Blue Bombers did not win? I was a little surprised. I believe Montreal, right? The yeah. Alouettes. Yeah, the Blue Bombers won the two meetings in the regular season. Pretty handily, one of them was, if I'm not mistaken. Well, it doesn't matter as long as you win that third time if it's in the Grey Cup. Second and nine after the gain of one. See Marion Local at the last minute changing some coverages. Pass is going to be incomplete, trying to come back to the football was the intended target in Landon Johnson. I tried to hit the hitch route to Johnson, and Krieger was contacted right as he was throwing it. It's been a combination of pressure by Marion Local's defense and <clears throat> coverage. They're doing a really good job of marrying up the coverage in the front, making life really difficult for Lincoln Krieger. So third and nine on our scoreboard tonight, brought to you by Structure Outdoor Ohio by Alts. Let Structure Outdoor Ohio bring your indoors out. Patrick Henry doesn't want to go three and out and send this right over to Marion Local to begin the second half. Krieger, quick count, fires this one into traffic. That one's going to be intercepted at the 45-yard line. This might be trouble for the Flyers as weaving his way through traffic will be Daniel Everman, and he's going to get in for the Brook Petroleum touchdown. Yeah, Everman just playing his half of the field in that too high look, stayed on the hash, waited for the post to develop. It's the route that Thomas Smith had a big catch in the first half for Patrick Henry. The overthrow by Krieger goes right into the hands of Everman, and then nothing to do but style and profile your way into the end zone. Everything going Marion Local's way. So 45 yards on the interception return for the score. And now Carson Bills on, but before that, we're going to have a flag. And we have one official kind of gesturing towards the Patch Henry side again, as we're going to see another player come off with more equipment issues the third time. Patch Henry said players come have to come to the sideline. So we want to tell you that that interception return for a score was a Burke Petroleum touchdown. Burke Petroleum is now offering propane for residential, farm, commercial, and industrial users. Burke Petroleum, dependable, available, 800-776-3097. And my uh, apologies as I talked over the official. I think that was a 12th guy that had to get off the field is what it was. There's 11 guys now for Patrick Henry. So now everything is settled, and Carson Bills will come on 
and hit home the extra point. So now 35 nothing. Mary Local with the lead that engages the running clock. And we'll have that for you when we come back here on WOSN. Well, Daniel Everman with the interception return for a score means we are now in a running clock situation. 35-0, Marion Logue with lead over Patrick Henry. This Division 7 a state semifinal. Kickoff's going to be fielded at the five-yard line. And the Patriots will get this one out again near about the 20, maybe the 21. Mm -hmm. And that's where they are going to start now down an even bigger hole without uh, seeing the Marion local offense on the field. Uh, Arling and Hess involved in that tackle. The uh, kickoff team for Marion Local, despite the one return by Landon Johnson where he almost got to break, they've been fantastic other than that one. We want to tell you that the premier sponsor for Marion Local tonight is OPAC and Osgood. For all of your industrial painting, staining, and assembly needs, call OPAC. It's Patriots with it once again. Starting this drive at their own 21. And very short gain here on first down, if any. They're trying to get Miranda going again. Arling going to be involved on that tackle at the line of scrimmage. Been a, a couple bright spots in the run game for Patrick Henry, but nothing consistent. They have a 16 run, an eight yard, eight yard run, but most times they've been stuck at the line of scrimmage. Just got to get some continuity there. Second and 10 coming up here as Miranda held to no gain. It's Krieger in the shotgun. Marion Local trying to jump. Looks like they're going to change up a defensive look. Now Krieger having some trouble. He's just going to take a knee as the low snap came back about shin high. Yeah, very fortunate that Krieger is able to get a hand on it. Smart play just going down to the ground, not doing something with it and causing another fumble. And Krieger was kind of looking around. What Marion Local does is they, they will try to give you one look and then at the last second buzz to a different one in the secondary. And at that time, Krieger was trying to get them to show it, and then they bounced back. So whatever the first look is that you, you see, it's not going to be what it is at the snap of the ball. Good game plan by Marion Local. Bad snap is a loss of six, a third and 16. Krieger rolling to the near side, looking, fires this one. This one is going to be caught. Nice job making sure he got both feet in. Be good at any level as the pass was caught by Thomas Smith, but it will be well shy of the first down. That's going to be about eight yards short. Fourth down coming up. You're down by 35. You're stuck in your own end. You want to make it worse, you go ahead and punt the football, and I think that's the unit that Bill Inselman has sent out to the field. George Delgado on the punt again. And let's step into this one, one of the better offerings. This one will be fielded at about the 48-yard line. And return will get out near the 40, so good return of about eight yards by Victor Holsher. We do have a penalty flag at the end of this one. I think it's going to be a face mask against Patrick Henry. That seems to be the early indication. And Carter Jones, who had a, a scoop and score off the block punt earlier, uh, was really close to getting in on that last punt. And I gotta say, Jaden Punches was the uh, guy that uh, contacted the mask, and Patrick Henry is gonna have another unfortunate penalty against him. Just a five yard variety though. But it does give a Marion Local really good field position inside the Patrick Henry 40, their first official drive of the second half. With that running clock already down here. Seven minutes to go in our third quarter. Quick pitch to come out to that left side. Nice job being able to run out of the first would-be tackler as the Flyers beginning to bring some, uh, some of the guys a little bit deeper in their bench into... Uh, some action times. Parker Hess will get the call. That's an old Earl Bruce play from Ohio State back in the day. Put a full back in front of your tailback, toss, sweep it. You can see old Keith Byers running that one for big yardage against Illinois back in the day. 
boy, it's kind of fun to see some of the old school stuff still works when you execute. Pick up a nine on the run is going to bring up second and one from the 29. Handoff back on the ground once again as they keep it with Parker Hess. Hess only needed a yard. Looks like he got that in a little more for the first down. Our first downs tonight brought to you by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all of your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. That was Kreider involved on that tackle. Good to see him back in the game. Remember, he had that lower back injury right before half making his way back on the field, a good sign for Patrick Henry. Flyers of the first down to Patrick Henry, 27, back to that eye. Now the fullback will get involved, Ethan Heitkamp, and Heitkamp looking for the pylon. He's going to be in for the Burke Petroleum touchdown. Now, this is a tough play because he gets it on the right-hand side, but it's a fullback cutback. He's going to go all the way back to the left, and there's absolutely nobody over there because the blocking is so good. And what do you do if there's no one to contact you? We just kind of stroll your way into the end zone. Everything, absolutely everything going Marion Local's way. So Hank Campbell score for the second time tonight. Makes this one a 41 to nothing. And again, our touchdowns tonight are brought to you by Burke Petroleum. They're now offering propane for residential, farm, commercial, and industrial users. Burke Petroleum, dependable, available. As we see... Carson Bills on for the extra point, which is good once again as that flyer lead now 42 to nothing here with 506 to go in the third. And we'll take a timeout here on WOSN. Well, Ethan Heitkamp with a second touchdown run of the night. This one covers 27 yards is on our Structure Outdoor Ohio scoreboard. Now 42-0. Marion Local lead over Patrick Henry in this Division 7 state semifinal. Marion Local trying to head back to uh, Canton for the third year in a row. It's an unfortunate break there for Houston Miranda on the kick return. Is I think he took a forearm by one of his own teammates there. Yeah, a little friendly fire. Landon Johnson gets in a way very similar to, remember the Mark Sanchez uh, butt fumble? years ago when he runs into his own offensive lineman and fumbles the football with the Jets. And kind of a similar similar play right there. And it's a shame because it looked like Miranda had himself a little bit of a crease in the middle of the field. Patriots start this drive with their 20. Not the way they wanted their season to end. So get the handoff here, and Miranda trying to bounce this one to the outside. He'll make the first man miss. He'll get about nine as he's finally brought down just shy of the 30-yard line. Now, what an impressive runner he has been for Patrick Henry. The first guy rarely gets him to the ground. 1,645 yards on the year in a tough NWOAL league, too. Remember, this is a team that finished third in the NWOAL. They make it this far. Very impressive stuff. Pick up a nine, and they uh, attribute that to the NWOAL being Division 7, a league full of fours and fives. A couple of sixes thrown in there as well. Nice run trying to break that to the left side. Lincoln Krieger, he's going to have enough for the least famous recipe chicken first down until he'll get out across the 30 to the 31. Hey, of course, uh, I think Marion Local <coughs> plays in a tough league as well. Yeah, right? I understand their league knows a little bit about the sport of football. I can't believe cold water, as good as they are, right? Every year that comes down to that cold water and marrying local game. And I just want to be at it and win the 50-50 once, right? That, that's my personal goal. That's some serious cash when those two teams get together for 50-50. Now we're going to have a, a stoppage here as Patrick Henry saw the alignment of marrying local, something they did not like. So they will take a Metzger Financial Services timeout. Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Call 419-225-6067 or visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. I saw an article this week, and I'm sure you probably did, Tim Goodwin talking about 
One of the reasons why they have success at Marion Local, their philosophy at the junior high program. Did you can't get a chance to read that one? I did. It, it, uh, it drew a little bit of buzz in the uh, social media world. It's I did. The uh, starts at the junior high. Just let the kids have fun at the junior high level. And maybe they'll stick around. That's a good idea, right? Your job number one as a junior high coach, make sure those kids play high school football, right? Mm, exactly. Yeah, there is uh, no state trophy given away for eighth grade football, right? Keep those kids out. I like the philosophy. Have fun. Make sure every kid plays. That is, uh, I think a lot of people can learn a little bit from their program. So after the timeout, Krieger's going to look to throw. He's going to throw this one to the sideline. Houston Randa unable to get that one as he was bracketed right around midfield. He was kind of hit before the ball got there. Carter Jones contacted him, but I think the officials are going to say that was such an uncatchable ball. No need to call and throw a flag on that one. So it brings up. Second and 10 from the 31-yard line. I know we're not supposed to root in these games, but I, I, I want to see Patrick Henry get a touchdown before the end of this game, don't you? You want to see you a do. senior score a touchdown on one of their last on their last game? Miranda running straight ahead is going to be snowed under at about the 34. It's third and seven upcoming for the Patriots. Yeah, Creer comes over to the sideline and gets a play from... Bill Inselman, who calls the plays also, not just the head coach, but he is the play caller. And that's one of our favorite things, right? To watch that quarterback run over to the sideline and run back to the field. Definitely hey, definitely gets his 10,000 steps in. It's the way he did it when he played quarterback at Patrick Henry. Yeah, he's a fantastic quarterback back in the day. He'll never say it. Was he the greatest quarterback in the history of Patrick Henry football? Well, he, he always says, I wish I had the benefit of the shotgun. Yeah, he had to take all those snaps under center. And we're going to get whistles and at least one flag. Early indication is someone from Patch Henry left early. They're going to say Trent Johnson moved a little bit early, and Trent's got the open hands up towards the official. Like, nah, I'm not sure I did, sir. The thing with the running clock. Is that you have a false start like that, and so much time just dwindles away in a hurry. A long conversation on the sideline here with uh, Lincoln Krieger. They're going to have to snap this inside of 10 seconds now. The discussion was because he, the down and distance changed, so Coach Inselman had to go ahead and change the play call. And Patch Henry backed into a third and 12. Krieger rolls far side, fires this one towards the sideline. And on top of it are the officials on that side. And they're saying pass is going to be caught out there by Thomas Smith again. Uh, Smith breaks off his route when he sees his quarterback leave the pocket and comes back towards the sideline. A little scramble, drill technique right there, gets himself free. He was running a vertical and stops it and comes back to his quarterback. First down, Patrick Henry, good execution on that scramble drill. I picked up 23 yards there in our instant replays tonight. Brought to you by Homans Insurance, your trusted local insurance specialist, member of the Wayne Insurance Group with two locations to serve you in Chickasaw and Versailles. Patrick Henry able to get to the Marion Local 49. Not sure if they're going to get one more playoff before the quarter comes to an end. Looks like they're not in much of a hurry to do so either as quarter does close. So Patch Henry starting to drive here. They'll have it when the fourth quarter kicks off and we'll have that for you next here on WOSN. Well, brand new first down coming up here for Patch Henry as they start the fourth quarter at the Marion Local 49. First down is going to have a defender slip. That's going to lead to an open receiver and a nice job, Landon Johnson, to get to the football and a big first down for the Patriots. Yeah, Francis is the one that slips, number 27 for Marion Local, and a really good job by Landon Johnson to continue his route, not get distracted by the defender slipping in front of him. Yeah, biggest pass play of the afternoon, or evening rather, for Patrick Henry. Remember, we were here last week, and we saw a lot of guys slip. Yeah, we did. With Liberty Center. Sometimes when we wear those little nub cleats on this uh, surface, you will slip because you don't get true footing. 25 yards on the pass play. I give him a first down. The Marion local 24. It's Krieger looking to throw again as to get rid of this one. It's going to be incomplete. Thought about running at first, and then with the pressure coming in his face, decides to get rid of the football. 
Yeah, it looked like he was going to roll to the right, had an outbreaking route, but couldn't get there as the pressure by Marion Local. You know, linebacker reads it. You got an empty spot in front of you. Quarterback rolling. Go ahead and attack it. And good job by Marion Local right there. Yeah, it was Bryant Meyer, number 42, who came up with the pressure. Second and 10, now it's Houston Miranda. Miranda trying to find a little bit of running room. He's going to get knocked down inside the 20. Brings up a third and manageable here for the Patriots. I like watching Miranda run. Be interesting to see what his plans are because I think he could be a running back at several schools here in the state of Ohio if he wants to. He's got that little bit of a slide and the quick verticality. Fun running back to watch. Well, third and three coming up here from the 17-yard line as the Patriots trying to get that goose egg off the scoreboard. Miranda trying to stretch this one to the outside. He's going to be close to the stick. Needed to get close to the 14-yard line. They're going to mark him inside the 15. And it looks like the officials are going to go ahead and give them the Lee's famous recipe chicken first down. Yeah, it was Bryant Meyer again on the tackle. This time playing a backside linebacker. Great job keeping that leverage, waiting for the running back to come back to you, then fill the hole. Uh, great scrape technique by Meyer. First downs tonight again brought to you by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all of your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. About the shovel pass, Patrick Henry Digging deep into their playbook, trying for a little razzle-dazzle. <laughs> there it is. A little razzle-dazzle. Somewhere Andy Reid is smiling from Kansas City. The Chiefs love that play. They tried to run it in the first half, but it was well played. Krieger had to keep it. And Mary Local able to stop it for only about a gain of three. The second and seven here. This running clock already nearing the eight-and-a-half-minute mark of our fourth and final quarter. Krieger in the shotgun again. See that heavy formation. He's going to keep this one. He's going to bounce off one would-be defender. He'll get to about the eight before he's brought down. A little bit closer, third down. you got to believe if you're Patrick Henry, right, this is four down territory. Oh, easily. They do have a, a kicker that they're confident for extra points, and that is the guy that punts the football also, George Delgado who has uh, really improved his ability to kick extra points throughout the year. At one point in time, they went for two all the time, but as he improved, Coach Inselman said, hey, we're going to need you for extra points, and George said, okay, I can do that. And it came in handy against McComb in the regional final. Third down coming up here. There's one for the end zone. That one's going to be incomplete. Good coverage applied out by Carter Jones. Yeah, Carter Jones does the one thing that you have to do as a corner is if you get lost, find the football, turns his head, goes through the receiver to the football. Uh, Patrick Henry thinks they have an advantage, and they normally do because of Thomas Smith's height and jumping ability. But that time, Carter Jones giving up four inches played it really well. well. Fourth and four coming up here for the Patriots. Don't need a touchdown to keep this alive, but they do need about four yards to keep the drive going. As we near seven minutes left to go on our Structure Outdoor Ohio scoreboard. Krieger in the shotgun. Double clutches, fires this one. It's going to be intercepted in the end zone. And just sliding down, taking a knee, will be Camden Eifert as he's the one that will haul in the deflected pass. Uh, initially, they're trying to hit Trent Johnson on a seam route right up the hash mark, uh, a play that they had open in the first half that he wasn't able to come up with a catch on. But as well played by Mary Local, then Krieger came back. Tried to hit the slant with Johnson, but is well defended by Nagel. Pops up in the air. And how about the smart play by Eifert, who just decides to go down, save his team some field position. So Mary Logan will get this one at the 20. This running clock, you think this might be the final possession of the night here with 6.45 and counting to go. Let's see how deep into their bench they'll go for the rest of this one. Little pop pass as they spread this one to the outside. 
Uh, Mesher in at quarterback. Braden Mesher, number five, is in. As Braden Pavlika will get the carry. And he'll get it for about a yard to the 21. Well, they just announced that there's $1 pizza left on the PA. Well, you're going to be on your own for the rest of the night, uh. buddy. <laughs> Can he text in an order? <laughs> well, they deliver it to the press box. <laughs> now the I formation once again. And give to the fullback. And this is going to be a big run for Mary Locals. They'll get the Lee's famous recipe chicken first down. As you're going to ward Eifert comes up with the interception on defense. He'll come over play fullback. And he'll get a big run out across the 40-yard yeah, line. Just inside trap. Guards love this play because the defensive tackle flies up field. They don't see it. And you get yourself a knockout shot, and Eifert just follows his guard right through a gap. Big time play for Marion Local. Picked up 22. It gets out to the 43 yard line here with 518 and counting to play in this one. It's Braden Mesher, the sophomore at quarterback, gets the pitch to Parker Hess. Hess is going to be met after getting a couple of yards. They'll mark him. Well, they had him first up with the 45, and it looks like that is where they spot him, so gain a two. Trent Johnson on the tackle. 43 tackles on the year for Patrick Henry, number 88, just a sophomore. So they're going to have a couple uh, defensive linemen that are going to be fantastic moving forward. Of course, we already chronicled Grant Smith, who's just an unbelievable defensive uh, end for them. 23 sacks. It's like T.J. Watt out there for them. It's back to that I formation, second and eight as they get that pitch coming upfield. But not a lot of running room that time as they go back to Parker Hess. Another sophomore making a big play. Kreider, number 33, scraping over top. And then Phil looked like a Buckeye from back in the day. Chris Spielman, remember that guy? I do. Pretty good linebacker. No gain on the play. He's going to bring up a third and eight. And once again, we want to tell you that the premier sponsor for Marion Local tonight is OPAC and Osgood. For all of your industrial painting, standing and assembly needs, call OPAC. Third and eight coming up here for the Flyers. They got this one well in hand, trying to run out his final 348. And a big stop defensively made by the Patriots will bring up a fourth down. Hey, George Delgado, they were victimized by that inside trap earlier in this drive at that time. Big George was ready for it. Met it at the line of scrimmage, held it to none, fourth down now. Gain of one, a late decision by Marion Local. They're gonna send their punt team out. Might as well up 42 nothing. get them a little bit of work. Had a couple of punts tonight. And this one will be sent into the night. Bit of a wobbler. Does bounce, take a big Marion local hop, and will finally be touched down at about the 22-yard line. You got 301 left, and if Patrick Henry got two timeouts. Let's see if you can put one on the board, but I think they're uh, electing to go ahead and play some younger guys. It's a good decision also because you know, you don't always make it to the state semifinals, and you want to make sure everybody gets a chance to get in the game, say. Yeah, that's the big thing, 30 right? years, 20 years from now, I say, hey, I played in a state semifinal game. Some Marion local on its way to uh, once again playing for a state final. They will play Saturday at 1030 Hall of Fame Stadium in Canton. See a handoff here, see if we can get some uh, names, some of these uh, fresh bodies in for the Patriots. I think Reed Krieger's in at quarterback, number three, uh, the freshman. And Ethan James, sophomore running back, will get the call there. Do you think Marion Local knows, knows a, the best route to get to Canton? They've been there so many times already. <laughs> like, don't turn left here, it'll save you 10 minutes. Don't listen to the GPS. We've been there so often, we know how to get there. I, I would think so. Yeah, what a great job they have done there. Year in, year out. You just always count on Marion Local being solid. Now the run here on second down will go for a minimal gain. 
Well, you got a feel for the seniors at Patrick Henry because you know, the realization in the second half that this is the last time you're going to be playing high school football. There's nothing worse than that moment where you know it's going to be over and the guys that you have the bond with, that this is going to be the last time you experience it with them. I remember sitting in the locker room after my last game and not wanting to take my helmet and shoulder pads off. It's just uh, it's just one of those sobering moments. It's a sad thing. So, uh, But hats off to Patrick Green. What a great year they've had. Well, they'll end at 12-3. and three. So Marion Local will go to 15 and 0 as we'll have a fourth down coming up here following the run. You got to like Marion Local's odds, right? No matter who they play. Right. right. Even if your 49ers show up <laughs> next week, they'll find a way to block the edge somehow. They just are so good. Got to like their odds no matter who they're playing in the state title game. Fourth down and three coming up here for Patrick Henry. As they'll have to snap the football one more time. Going back to Ethan James and looks like the football might have come out as well. It doesn't matter. He's going to be shy of the first down. So they will stop the clock here with 26 seconds for the quick possession change. And it's going to be a fourth down stop is how the Marion local fans are going to send their uh, starting defensive unit uh, off the field. Uh, it's kind of appropriate, right? Because this game started with a big fourth down stop by Marion local on defense. Really changed the game. It was just 7 nothing at that time. They scored off of that drive, then got the block punt, and the next thing you know, it really got out of hand. So all the Flyers will have to do is take one knee. They will do that. And they are on their way back to Tom Benson Hall of Fame Stadium to go play for another state title. So 42 nothing is the final score. Marion Local will get the win. Miles and I are going to take a timeout. When we come back, we will select a Stolle Insurance Hustle Award winner when we return here to WOSN. Two nothing. The final score. Mary local end the year for Patrick Henry's. The Flyers at 15 and 0, headed back to uh, Canton Saturday morning for the Division Seven state title game. Miles and I do have a little bit of a business to wrap up, and that is selecting a Stolle Insurance Stolle Hustle Award winner. And partner, who gets the nod tonight? Well, I'm going to go with Carter Jones because that play off the block punt and then the, the pick up and score in the end zone, that took it from 14 nothing to 21, and really that was the moment that you just kind of knew Marion Local was just going to be too much for Patrick Henry. So Carter Jones of Marion Local will be our Stolle Insurance Stolle Hustle Award winner. Check out the highlights of tonight's Stolle Hustle Award winner on the WOSN YouTube page. So look forward to, to some of those highlights. It's 42 nothing Again, the final partner. It's been a, a great year of football here. Just one weekend left of the uh, high school football season now. Yeah, and good luck to Marion Local. Go ahead and get another state title. And, and congratulations to Patrick Henry on a fantastic season. And what a great year it's been for WOSN in the fall. Who does high school sports better than WOSN? Nobody, right? That's right. And who does better in, wor in uh, working outside in the cold than the, the crew we had today? They did a great job. Kelsey Beimer working hard, fighting through some illness right there, doing a good job on the camera. And, of course, Zach does a great job roaming the sideline. So I uh, can't thank them enough. Again, 42 nothing. Marion Local gets the win. They're off to the state title while Patrick Henry ends at 12-3. and three. So that's uh, going to do it for us tonight here from Spartan Stadium. I want to thank everyone uh, for uh, making our night possible and for my partner, Miles Holiday and our entire WOSN crew, I'm Randy Roberts. Thanks for watching, everyone.